So today I'm making my version of Italian wedding soup, except I'm uh, skipping the pasta and amping up uh, vegetables. Uh, so Italian wedding soup has meatballs, white beans, pasta, and some green vegetables in it. But really, um, the versions vary from family to family. So these are my vegetables. I'm amping up um, vegetable content instead of using pasta today to make it a little bit lower carb, uh, probably a little bit more nutrition as well. I'm using kale, celery, um, carrot, onion, and sweet potato. Obviously the root vegetables will need to be peeled and diced. Celery needs to be diced. And kale, I, I will take out the stems and tear it into bite-sized pieces. I'm also using this pre-made gar garlic paste to save time. I'm using olive oil to cook the veggies in, in these are my beans that I'm going to drain, but I, I'm not going to bother rinsing. And I'm using my homemade chicken stock, but you can use store-bought or even water. For meatballs, I've actually taken some um, bulk sweet Italian ground sausage, and I made that into little meatballs that are now browning in my Dutch oven, directly in my Dutch oven where I'm going to make the soup. I'm going to show you right now. Here they are, everybody in the pool. And these are my very simple seasonings, kosher salt, Italian seasoning, and freshly ground black pepper. So while the meatballs are cooking, and yes, I'm going to use the drippings to cook the vegetables. While they're browning, they don't actually have to be cooked through because they will cook through in the soup. But I'm gonna brown them on all sides. And while they're browning, I'm gonna dice all the veggies. So stand by. My meatballs are brown. Um, I took them out. All the drippings are delicious, so I'm keeping them in, and I'm adding a gulp of olive oil. And then into the drippings with olive oil, I'm going to add my veggies, celery, onion, carrot, and sweet potato, followed shortly by about a tablespoon of garlic paste. I will season the mixture with uh, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, and let it saute until the vegetables are slightly softened. Stand by. So our veggies have softened somewhat, and the garlic is very fragrant that I added. So now I am going to add all of my kale that I by, just tore up by hand. And the reason I'm adding it now is to get it wilted down so it doesn't take so much room. So, everybody in the pool. Um, this looks like a lot of kale, and it probably, nutritionally, yes, but um, volume-wise, it will shrink down quite a lot. So, I'm not worried about that. Anyway, I'm going to salt and pepper and season the kale as I season every layer with my seasonings. And then I'm going to cover the pot and let the kale wilt down before I add anything else. So the kale has wilted and turned bright green. And this is a good time for us to add our um, drained but not rinsed white beans, any kind. I'm using cannellini. And then I'm going to add back our meatballs. And like I said, they're not cooked through, as you can see here, but they will cook through in the soup. Um, and then I'm going to give it all a stir and uh, add my chicken stock and simmer over low heat for about 20 minutes. Here it is, this is the final result, Italian wedding soup. My version, um, family friendly, uh, hearty enough to be dinner, lots of colors, lots of veg vegetables, uh, meatballs, and uh, lots and lots of flavor. Um, seasoned to taste after it's done because the final product will taste different. Uh, if you're using Italian sausage like me, you probably won't need much seasoning because it's already robustly seasoned. Enjoy!